please do not try to adjust your screen. What you are seeing is real and everything will be explained shortly. Okay, so this is, yes, it's a Toyota. I get that, all right? It's weird, it's not a Ford, it's in my garage. What the heck is going on here? Well, to explain that, this car belongs to a coworker of mine and he reached out to me for some help on getting the front end situated because he's got a really bad wheel bearing noise, there's a knocking from the front end. So I've ordered a bunch of parts and I'm gonna fix it for him. It is a 2011 RAV4 that has seen some better days, but you know what? Everything can be fixed, it's no big deal. And we're mainly just gonna focus on the front end today, so that's all we're gonna take care of. Everything else, he's pretty decent at doing himself. You know, he changes the oil, he does the brakes, you know, he's good at that. But what we're gonna focus on today is struts, control arms, and wheel bearings on the front end. First things first though, is it's raining outside, it's cold. So yeah, it, uh, that's why it's in the garage, so I can do this. And I've got that. I'm gonna fire that up and get that going. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> fire, 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 fire. So probably not gonna be a whole lot of audio today because that thing's a little bit loud and I'm cold. So let's get to it. All right, so I've gotten this side completely torn apart. Um, the axle is out because that's gonna get replaced. The threads on the end got damaged when I was taking the nut off. So we'll have to replace the axle. Besides, like I was saying earlier, it, it's starting to leak grease. So might as well replace it anyway. The passenger side is fine, so we'll be all good. So now, I gotta go to the passenger side and take it apart. Oh man. Oh. I'm gonna have to jack up this side of the engine to get that bolt out. And I had to jack up the other side on the transmission and it's currently sitting on the transmission to get the bolt out. But crap. Also, we have another mistake. Well, not really a mistake, but more of a uh, an issue. The ABS sensor got chewed up on this side. Cause this is, this is the bearing that was bad. And I mean, really bad. It's, it's wobbling around like crazy and it shouldn't. So, uh, I'm gonna take that wheel hub assembly apart, start pricing an ABS sensor. That's probably gonna have to be another day. I don't I think it's too late to order this. I think. Little bits, man, little bits. We're getting there. And like magic, our parts have arrived. Awesome. All right, so we got the passenger side completely put together, brand new strut, brand new end link, brand new control arm, brand new hub bearing. Everything's done on this side, it's all cinched together. All that's really left to do on this side is put the wheel in and it's ready to rock and roll. But we've got to finish up the driver's side. And on the driver's side, I quickly put the lower control arm in so that way I could put this transmission mount on this side back and then I could jack up the engine on the other side so I can put the other side control arm in, but I'm at a complete standstill because I'm waiting for an axle and I'm waiting for a bearing on this for this side too. Turns out my idiot self Dumbass! thought there was a left and left side and a right side bearing. Turns out it was just front and rear and the front ones are identical to each other. So I'm going to have to send the bearing back, but I've got another bearing coming through O'Reilly's and uh, it'll show up the same time as the axle. Thank God. 
So, awesome. And uh, right now I'm just at a standstill. Gonna be waiting for parts. So, uh, I think it's lunchtime. Let's go eat. So when my coworker originally came to me and, and asked for me to check this out, I test drove it up and down the street for a little bit, heard the loud bearing noise, but also heard some knocking when we hit a bump. And I wasn't exactly sure if that was going to be the struts or the end links. Um, but we talked about, we'll do the struts and then we'll control arms because he was saying something about he wanted to get the alignment done and they said that the bushings were shot. And yeah, that's kind of true. Um, so at first I thought, okay, we'll just do the bushings, uh, ball joints and, and uh, what are these things called? Yeah, the struts, that's it, duh. <laughs> um, but we didn't talk about replacing these end links. Um, but thankfully, all of the parts were so inexpensive to replace that I got the end links anyway, just as a nice little surprise. So hopefully nothing should be knocking up here and the bearing noise should go away. But that does leave noises coming from the rear. Now, I, the, the, the front was so loud, I couldn't really hear anything coming from the back. But that doesn't mean to say that there is no noise. But that's gonna be another day to take care of on that. Let's primarily get this back to the point where it's drivable every day, and then we'll worry about that another day. I am literally just standing around, twiddling my thumbs, just waiting. And I don't like this part. Six and a half hours later. <sighs> 12 seconds later. All right, parts are here. I'm gonna go get those. I'll be back. It's so quiet compared to the last time I drove it. Holy crap. Any clunking and squeaks and rattles you're hearing are coming from the back, or at least I think so. I have a slight ear infection, so I'm a little deaf on my left ear. This is the first time in my life I'm glad I'm deaf. I can't hear the boom. But, uh, doing about 40, 45. Yes, the ABS light is on, stability control light is on, but that's because of that ABS sensor that got jacked up. You know, Adam, I can only imagine the amount of noise this thing made before I changed out the bearing. But uh, so far, so good. You know, worst comes to worst, I could probably always just go over to the Chevy dealer and trade it in for him on a good Tahoe. All right, so church parking lot. Tight turns. Nothing, a little bit anyway. A little bit of a knock. That's normal. Shit, my 2020 Escape does that. Not, it's not as bad as it was, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, tire scratch. This little 2.5 gets up and goes. So earlier, I was using the floor jack to lift up the lower control arm to tighten that one bolt. And the reason for that wasn't to make life easier on me, but to help out with a little bit of premature wear. And I'll explain. On the control arm, there's this little rubber bushing right here with the metal collar inside of it. Now, if I were to have tightened the control arm with it down sagging like this, and I set the weight of the car on top of it, it would have lifted the control arm like that. But if I had that bolt tightened down all the way, the metal collar would have stayed where it was at and actually would have twisted the rubber bushing, causing premature wear. And nobody likes it when the rubbers wear out prematurely. All right, well, it is done. My buddy's gonna come and pick her up sometime eventually and they'll be, they are happy as a clam because it was, apparently it was so loud that in order to listen to the music, you had to have the radio all the way up. And if you wanted to talk to each other, you, you pretty much had to scream and you're sitting right next to each other. So they should be happy. Hopefully they come and get it soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.